Hello you guys, what is up? For today's video, you already saw the title, we're gonna do a wrap with me. You guys are gonna see what I got people this year. I'm gonna expose the dirtiest of the dirtiest. Also, I'm really good at wrapping, so I might even teach you guys a few things. I got this wrapping paper from Walmart, if anyone is wondering. If you are a part of my family, a person I'm gonna get a gift for, click out right now. Thank you very much. But I will be naming the name for I expose your gift. So it will be worn before I show your gift. I feel like it's kind of closed right now. Guys, what if we were out? Oh. Okay, first gift of the season we're gonna be wrapping. This is a monumental moment. This one's for my mom. So this is what me and my brother, we split this for my mom. I'm not gonna say what it is out loud because I'm scared she's gonna hear me right now. But you can see from the picture exactly what it is. And I think that she's gonna use this a lot, to be honest. I don't know, I feel like this is such a mom thing to have. You know. I'm excited. It's the first gift of the season. What wrapping paper should I use? This wrapping paper is such a vibe. We're gonna go with this. Oh, it has coconuts on the inside, but I don't like that. It's not Christmassy at all. Okay. I need scissors, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna like let you guys in on how I wrap for the first gift, just in case you're wondering. Measure halfway and then you have to bring the other side so that it covers the other half you do a little approximation and then you cut Ugh. Okay. this is where it gets complicated so what you want to do so you want to make sure that this part goes up to halfway and then you measure that on both sides so then you cut this piece off you want clean lines like this okay so then what you want to do is you want to flip the gift upside down it's already upside down so we're gucci on that fold it over insert this half over and you want to taper up i'll do one side and then i'll show you guys the next so this is how I do it and it looks so clean. So first step is you go like that and you fold it down and then you tape this wrapping paper to the box. You're going to fold the corners like this and then you're going to fold it over and then do that to this side as well. So now what you do is you want to tape this to this. So once that is done, then all you do is you flap this corner up and then you just tape it right there. That is how you do it. Elf like wrapping job we got over here. Seamless, beautiful, bam and done. Fun fact, I used to butt scoot as a kid. I wouldn't really walk, I would just like butt scoot around. And my parents and my grandparents thought that I would never be able to walk. But that be now. <laughs> okay, so this next gift is for you, dad. Get out of the video, what are you doing? <laughs> so this is what we got my dad. This, as you can tell by the title of it. We have been recently obsessed with this kind of drink. Now we can have it at our fingertips. Do you guys ever get your parents gifts that you can use too? Okay, so I asked you guys to send me some questions on Instagram and we're gonna look at them now and like reply to them while we're wrapping. What's your favorite thing about being a YouTuber? That's a really good question. I think my favorite thing is making videos that people enjoy. Making people happy with the content that I create. Not pleasing people, but for example, like if someone is having a bad day and then they go and watch one of my videos and it makes them feel better and it makes them smile that to me is amazing i mean i hope i do that for you guys yeah i think that's honestly my favorite part is someone can just come watch my videos whenever they want and hopefully ignore their stress and their worries that they have going on so <gasps> How did I do that? I do this every single year. I at least mess up one present. I can use this for later, but like, come on, Michaela. Okay, let's look at another question while we're trying to wrap this present again. How long have you and your boyfriend been dating for? So me and Joel have been dating for three years now. <laughs> I didn't think about that because it's been so long. Yes, three years now, and it's almost coming upon four. We started dating in May of 2017, just over three and a half years, which is absolutely crazy. But it feels like I've known him forever, you know what I mean? So we started dating when we we were 17 that's crazy i'm just gonna like finish wrapping this gift and then i will bring out the other gift and then continue the questions ready to go <laughs> we love a good gift session okay this next gift is for my boyfriend's parents so michelle and dan if you're watching this probably aren't but if you are exit out thank you me and joel are splitting our gift to his parents there's like a pimple inside of my ear so we're splitting their gift and one of the items that we're getting them is a speaker because they were like ranting about how they wanted a speaker i just actually picked this up today we also got my boyfriend's mom this car gps mount so you can put your phone when you're using the gps i picked this up today also it's bailey's chocolates and they really like chocolate i mean sorry they really 
like Bailey's and chocolate, I guess. So it's like the perfect combo. This is part of their present, not their full present. But we're gonna get wrapping and I'm gonna look at the next question. Why did you start a YouTube channel? So the reason why I started a YouTube channel was because I've always loved making videos. Since a young age, every single Christmas, I would ask for a camera and I would just go ham on it all year. I have a lot of really embarrassing videos that I actually have on my old computer. That would be actually really fun to do a video on, reacting to my old videos. But yeah, so I started a YouTube channel because I love making videos. Did I actually just- I'm so dumb. Anyways, I've edited since I was out of the room. This is not my first YouTube channel, by the way. If I have one piece of advice to give to anybody in high school right now, don't give a shit about anybody's opinion. Do what you want to do, be who you want to be, and don't give a flying shit about people's opinions. But as soon as I graduated high school, I had this whole realization. If I live my life based on other people's opinions, then it's never going to be my own life. It's going to be my life that I'm creating for other people. At that point, it's not even your life anymore. I wish I started my YouTube channel years ago. I would literally make videos and just not post them because I would be too scared of people judging me. And that now, like looking back on it, it's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. If people make fun of you in high school, then they're not your real friends. When you graduate, you get to live your own life. Ugh. I can't even fathom to you how much I wish I didn't care in high school. No matter what your status was in high school, it's funny how things change when you're out of high school. That does not matter once you graduate because you're in the real world. Do whatever you want. Don't let people's judgments and opinions affect you because everything stemmed from insecurity and jealousy. Don't give a shit about what people think. And that is my best piece of advice for everyone. Be yourself. If anyone needed to hear that, then there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly wrap the rest of their gifts and then I'm gonna get on with another question. Okay, so this is another gift for my mom. This is where it's from. I will actually put a picture of what it is on the screen right here. It's super cute. We can borrow it from her. Just kidding, but like, not really. You can live anywhere, where would you live? That is a very good question. It's funny how I got that question because I was literally just talking to my boyfriend about this. I want to experience other places in the world other than here. If you think about it, we have the whole entire world. You can go anywhere. You can live anywhere if you wanted to. Recently, I've been thinking, I want to experience other places other than here. Not that I want to necessarily move somewhere else for the rest of my life, but I do want to experience and live maybe for a short amount of times in other places. I've always dreamed of living somewhere tropical. Maybe I can make some travel vlogs. I feel like that would be really cool. I don't even know if that answers the question, but- I think it does. Okay, so I have four siblings and what we've been doing for the past few years is Secret Santa. It makes it way easier and that one person can get like a nice bigger gift rather than a few small ones you know what i mean so this year for secret santa i got i got my brother and this is what i got him he gave one option and he's like i want this so i was like okay perfect easy order bam arrived this is what i got him gonna be booming in the backyard and i love the color so nice is youtube your full-time job no youtube is not my full-time job right now i do do video editing geography on the side and i would love to make it my main job because it's literally my favorite thing to do in the new year, I'm gonna focus a lot more time on doing YouTube. I wanna make it my main priority because I wanna grow this channel and I wanna make this my full-time job. You heard it here first. So 2021, watch out for the videos. It's gonna be a step up, I promise you. Ever since I started YouTube, I was never consistent. I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna post this many times a week and I would never stick to it because I've always had other priorities. If you set your mind to anything, you can do it. You can do anything. Whatever you wanna strive for, Whatever your goals are in life, you can do it. <clears throat> so the next thing that I got here is this for my mom. You can see clearly what it is because she needs a new one. This for my dad to go along with the other gifts. So I think these are going to be the last two gifts that I wrap. If I'm completely honest, I am not even done my Christmas shopping yet. I finished it on the weekend, but I just really wanted to get this video filmed. Ooh, should I use like the recycled pieces? This is going to be a fun experience, but I'm going to get another question if there is any more questions. Is everyone around you supportive of you having a YouTube channel? I think so. My family, 100%. They've always been a true, true supporters. I have 100% support from everyone in my life. I mean, I definitely think there's people that make fun of my videos on the DL. You know what I mean? And honestly, if no one supported me, I would still do this, to be honest, because I support myself in the end. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do, and at the end of the day, if it makes you happy, then do it. 
You know what? It's abstract, it's art, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. Beautiful, done, wrapped. So we are gonna try to fit this in this box. <clears throat> no, not happening. <laughs> five plus five is five, then yes. So, wait, what did I just say? This is going into the mail, which is the proper box size. Okay, I'm gonna survive another question. Are you in school? Um, no. I went to college the first year out of high school, and I honestly did not want to go. I really had no idea what I wanted to do with my life at that point. Technically, I knew that I wanted to pursue a career in videography, video editing, something along those lines. But my parents, their main motto was like, you have to go to school, you have to get a degree, and if you don't get a degree, you're not gonna be successful. So pretty much after high school, I was forced into college, and I was like, I don't know what I wanna do in college. I knew a lot of people who were going into the nursing program, so I was like, you know what? I'll just take the nursing prerequisites because I don't know what else to do. Everyone was like, yeah, good for you, that's great. But deep down, did I wanna be a nurse? No. First semester of school, absolutely miserable. The only thing that I liked about it was a Need some friends, the schooling part of it, it made me want to cry and throw up at the same time. There was one point of the last semester that I was in school and I was like, I can't even study anymore. I could not even sit down to study because my brain was just thinking other things. Like I couldn't focus. My brain is not wired for school. School is not for me. And I'm going to put this image up on the screen right now that really touched me and that really spoke to me. Yes, I think that getting a degree and everything is going to be very helpful for, for your future. But if you don't see a career that you want to do in any of those fields that school can provide then why would you go to school just to get a degree just so you can have a backup it would make me miserable I would just feel like I'm wasting my time wasting my life so my parents really saw that I was unhappy in school and it honestly did take a lot of convincing to convince them but they finally understood that I don't want to do anything that a degree can provide the point of life is to be happy and yes we all have to make money and we all have to have jobs and we all have to work obviously because that's how you eat that's how you live but if you look at the richest people in the world Elon Musk um, Jeff Bezos they dropped out of college they didn't even get a degree great for you if you're going to school if you like it then that's amazing because that's what makes you happy and that's what you want to do you see the light at the end of the tunnel so that's amazing for you but for me personally I just felt like when I was in school I wasn't working towards anything now I'm honestly living my best happiest life ever I'm doing what I love every day yeah, that's honestly my thoughts on school and I feel like society has built this huge construct about school if you don't go you're gonna be successful and I've had so many people still to this day think that I burn out and whatever even though they might not really say it to my face it's obvious that they, they don't like the fact that I'm not in school if going to school isn't gonna make me happy I might as well do and earn money from what really does make me happy and if you have a goal and a motive and a dream in life why wouldn't you chase that dream and make it happen for yourself because if we only have one chance at this life we only live once YOLO so if you're not gonna make this the best and happiest life for yourself then what's the point of living because we're all gonna end up dead anyway so yeah moral of the story no i'm not in school i'm the happiest i've ever been the whole purpose in life is to be happy so do what makes you happy then you'll live a successful life in your own way success to me isn't money isn't schooling isn't education success to me is being happy so whatever that is whatever makes you happy that is success what did i just wrap if you guys want like an in-depth video about that let me know in the comments down below because i can talk for hours on that i can give y'all advice okay i think that wraps up today's video i literally need such a mess holy crap thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video for watching up into this point okay i'm gonna go catch you guys later on tuesday tuesday fridays tune in i love you guys so much peace out if you guys are curious about my setup here it is look at all this mess gonna have so much fun cleaning it up